My name is Jackie Weston. I'm the manager here at Campbell Snowden and I've been here now for 14 years. I would hope that the guide that we've produced to come on in would inspire other managers to really look at the, their ways of working, to involve the key people that you've got within your home. Everyone's got fabulous teams of staff, but sometimes you can forget that the relatives are there and they're a fabulous asset to you, uh, as they proved to be for us with our guide with this come on in. Initially, I thought that the visitors would maybe have some input and maybe then kind of we an interest or yeah I've you know I've I've done what I needed to do Jackie but they've been fabulous so it be so involved um, and they've taken a real pride in, in what they've been able to do and what they've been able to achieve and I think for them to get feedback to know that their involvement has helped other really helped other people I would definitely advocate you know be that an advocate of that partnership working certainly because I don't think enough of it goes on and even for us you know previously you know a lot of that hasn't gone on but I think now that we've done this piece of work we've developed that really good working relationship with families so that I know that I've got a group of families now that I can approach to talk to them about different things and see where that takes us. I think it's important to keep connected to families because people can find it quite daunting when you're first coming into a care home and people do worry. I had one lady recently who had said to me that when she came into the care home that she didn't want to become a patient that was visited and that really, really struck me. And when people say something like that to you, that really then is your prompt for further discussion about it, about, you know, the feelings behind that. So in, a, in many respects, a lot of the work that we've done and been able to tease that out with our, our, fa our residents has been in the moment. So it's maybe being following a visit or they know that a visit's going to happen, you know, a family member's going to come in or you respond to a situation. So maybe you've responded or you can sense that someone's maybe a bit upset or, you know, just quiet contemplation or we always kind of seize that moment to then because it's in the moment and they can talk about that kind of recent experience and how it's been for them. And, and, and residents are, are very good at uh, being able to tell you exactly what they want from someone coming in to visit. And I think it's a bit, a lot of the feedback that we got was about just people feeling welcomed and a, a feeling of normality, that it's not structured, that it's not similar to the kind of hospital environment where people get these preconceived ideas as to, you know, I'll be visited on a certain day or a certain time and it'll be for an hour. So it was about having a really exploring that for people. But as I say, that initial comment from that lady really struck me. So because of what we've learned, that's much more of a focus for us now, particularly when people are, are new coming into the home, to explore that whole idea as to what, it's, what it would be like for them. Um, because people don't often want to be visited. They just want life to continue as, as normal. And why shouldn't it? What I would love to see next, from the culmination of the work that we've done with the guide, is that it is recognised nationally as been a really useful tool for dialogue, for conversation. I think that's what's crucial for us. I don't think it would be helpful if it landed in a care home and it was just given out as part of a pack or if we have difficult relationships perhaps, you know, with a family member, just to be, this will be a, a fix. Because it's not a how-to guide. I would love to see that People are using it in really innovative ways to look at involvement with various community groups because that's what people, you know, we've heard from people in care homes, that's what they want to see, more community involvement. And we've got some sectors of the community that are still quite, can be quite scared to come in and particularly visit people with sort of someone living with advanced dementia. So we've had people from church groups, befriending organisations, people within sheltered accommodations. So we've got lots and lots of groups that I think would really benefit from it and I've had lovely feedback from our launch today about a particular organisation who initially thought it maybe wouldn't fit but thought saw a, saw a fantastic opportunity to be able to use it and they're working with a slightly different uh, younger group so yeah I would I'd like to see that it, it was used in that way but I think crucially and we will continue to use it this way here is to reflect continuously on our, our practice because there's always more that you can do um, to help support the people that you're working with within care homes.